today we are going to the beautiful seaside place of Bridlington on the east coast of Yorkshire on a beautiful sunny day. King Edward is driving and my grandnieces Harriet and Robin and grandnephew George are with us. The pleasant journey from York taking about an hour through the relatively flat countryside of the East Riding of Yorkshire and passing such historic sites as the Battle of Stamford Bridge where King Harold defeated the invading Norsemen. Population about 35,000. It's a sea fishing port known for shellfish and is actually the largest lobster port in Europe. Even puffins can be seen here. There are the lobster pots. The fishing boats are all at sea. The tides determining when they fish. The motto, Signum Salutis Semper, ever the sign of health. There's a great beach, a spa, and a superb promenade, making it an ideal place for a stroll, and that's exactly what we did. Though it has to be said, we were strolling in the direction of the fun park. The tide is in, and all the usual activities are going on. There are indeed some interesting things to see, particularly relics of Victorian England but our attention is soon diverted as the kids spot inviting activities that did not even exist when I was a kid. Part of the fun is that it's right on the promenade and a glance east is always met by the North Sea. A sight that is not lost on Edward, who I imagine is walking down memory lane, contemplating a boat ride. And Dover is not the only place that has white cliffs. Indeed, they're a common sight on the shores of England. My sister also reminiscing and pointing out where an auntie used to live. In the meantime, Edward and I succumb to carnal desires of the gastronomical type. And then another attraction beckons, all aboard.
So finally they get to experience something I never did. And they surely had a lot of fun. So here's a shop for the memory. Smile. It was a special day for me. I've lived abroad for 50 years. And these times when I can relive some childhood memories with family are precious. Especially in such a place as this. Cockles and mussels, alive, alive, all, and prawns. Cockles, prawns. <laughs> Finally, we ate dinner at Weatherspoons in Driffield. A great meal to top off a great day. I forgot to shoo the food, but all I can say is that it was an excellent meal at a reasonable price. So I hope you enjoyed the day with us. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed it. There's more coming.